To create your company, click on the Sign Up as a User link at the bottom of the screen. Complete all the fields with your details for the new company. Remember your password. This password will be required to log into the company. Confirm you accept the terms and conditions and click on the Sign Up button. Next, you will complete your company details and set up your branding and financial details. Enter your company's address and banking details. The company's address will display on the top part of your document and your banking details will display at the bottom of your document. To insert your company logo, select the location you saved the logo. The logo will be uploaded and you can select to display the logo on the top left or top right of your documents. Select a layout from the three available options. Click on each layout for a preview of the layout, then select the preferred layout from the drop-down menu. Finally, select the option if you are VAT registered or not. Your VAT number will display under the document name. Enter the VAT number in the VAT number field. Select the number of decimals to display when selling inventory items. This is important if you sell portions of a product. Confirm your financial year end date and click the finish button. You are now ready to process. To add customers, select Customers, Add a Customer from the main menu. In the Customer Name field, enter the customer's name. When you have two customers with the same name, add a number to the end of the next customer name to make it a unique name. You cannot have duplicate customer names. To make reporting easier, allocate the customer to a category. If you do not have a category, click on Add New Category to create your category. If you tick the checkbox Cash Sales Customer, all details fields will be greyed out, and these details will be captured as the customer document is created. Confirm that the Active checkbox is ticked to enable processing to this customer. Enter a credit limit if you are allowing the customer to purchase on credit, and if the customer is registered for VAT, enter the customer's VAT number. It is important to obtain written permission from the customer that the customer accepts electronic documents. Only if this option is selected may you email documents to your customer. Complete all the remaining contact details for the customer and click on the Save button to close the screen or Save a new button to create additional customers. To process a quote, click on Create a Quote or select Customers, Transactions, Customer Quotes from the main menu. Click on the Add Quote button to open the processing screen. Select the customer to be quoted from the Customers drop-down field. All customer details will be populated from the information entered when creating the customer. Confirm the date and quote expiry dates are correct. Click on the Select Item drop-down to select the item to quote on. Once selected, tab and all the fields will be populated with the amounts entered when creating the item. Change the quantity to quote on if required. Banking details are displayed on the quote so customers can make payment when accepting the quote. Remove unused lines or add extra lines for additional items. Click on the Print Preview button to view the quote or print the quote for a walk-in customer. Click on the Email button to email the quote to a customer or save the quote by clicking on the Save button to process the quote at a later stage. Once the quote is processed, the quote will display on the Customer Quotes screen. From the main menu, select Customers, Transactions, Customer Quotes. Select the quote to be converted and click on the Actions drop-down. From the menu, 
click on Create Invoice. On the Information screen, click on the OK button. This is to confirm the status of the document will change. Confirm the quantity and process the document by clicking on the Print Delivery Note button. Select Print Invoice and Delivery Note or Email Invoice and Delivery Note. If a delivery note is not required, click on the Email button to process the document. Once processed, the document status will change to Unpaid until the payment is received and allocated to this transaction.